everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is LJ and in today's video I'm going to be doing a Boohoo try on haul. This is the first time I've ever done any type of try on haul for my channel so I hope you enjoy it. I was shopping online on boohoo.com about three or four weeks ago and I picked up a few bits. Everything was on sale for 50% off, so all of the prices I'm giving to you will be the 50% off price. Even though I do have a very strong Irish accent, I am living in Canada, so everything will be in Canadian dollars. I ordered off boohoo.com, you just change the currency to Canada and you get no duty fees or anything like that. Delivery did take about two and a half weeks. I thought it would be a little bit quicker. I put up an Instagram story saying, oh, where's my order? I don't know where it is, I'm waiting, because I was hoping to have it in time for Generation Beauty, and it just came in time then the week after for the Reese's. Customer care seemed to be really good at Boohoo. They replied back to my Instagram story like within an hour, just saying, oh, is there anything I can help you with? And they explained the situation about uh, delivery that it is up to eight working days after dispatch so my order didn't get dispatched until five working days after my order so that's something to note if you are ordering from Canada all of the sizes I did order through like US sizes so I am a US size 8 which is a UK size 12 my shoe size is a euro 41 42 which is like a size 11 US size so today in this video I'm going to be going through my favourite pieces that I got and also the pieces that do not work for me and that I will be sending back. Let's get into the haul. Okay, so first up I have this olive green cold shoulder type dress. It has a strappy front here with metal details, a very slouch like arm, super comfortable to wear. I really love it because it's short at the front and it's long at the back, so if you are curvy like me and you have a bigger booty, you won't get any of that writhing up at the back. I have worn this once already, and I do see a bit of balling happening where my handbag sits on my hip, so that is something to note. But it is quite a thick material and extremely comfortable, and I'm really, really happy with this dress. This dress was $18.50. Next up, I have this A-line brown dress. So again, another casual piece I picked for the summer months, so that would be nice and cool. Now, when I ordered this online, I was a little bit worried about the hemline because it does seem to be kind of pointy and then up like rag style. I was worried in case it looked too raggedy or too kind of pixie-ish, but it doesn't look like that when it's worn at all. I've worn this already maybe two or three times and it is super comfortable. I'm really happy with this purchase. So even though this piece is very plain, you can definitely layer it up with some necklaces and put a little shirt on top, kind of make it more casual, wear some sandals or a hat with it and it will definitely dress this piece up. This dress was $22.50. Next up, I have this really pretty maxi dress. It has an embroidered waist. So this is what attracted me to this dress, is the embroidery here at the front, which seems to be really on trend. I also love that it had really large swing sleeves, and it also has a deep plunge line neck, and it hits down to the ground. I've worn this dress already, and when I did wear it, I got so many compliments, which is amazing. Now, when I was getting this dress, I did notice that the neckline was very, very low. So I did think ahead and I also bought this play suit to kind of go with it. So it had a strappy neckline here. So I thought that would kind of deter away from the plunging neckline and kind of give a little bit more detail kind of going on instead of just skin. So I got this to go on underneath it. So I teamed this dress on its own with the play suit and with another strappy bralette that I have from La Senza. I really love the La Senza combination that it gives it just more dimension and it deters away from the extremely low neckline and raises it up a little bit and just gives it a little bit more detail, a little bit more eye-catching and it also kind of draws your attention down to the beautiful embroidery here at the bottom. I also love the fact that the sleeves kind of cinch into in towards the waist i think that's a very very nice slimming feature this dress cost 
It was 41 Canadian dollars. Again, that's a half price price. So I'm really happy with this one. This play suit costs 21 dollars and I'm going to be keeping it. It's a nice little feature. Yeah, it's cute. Another item that I will be keeping are just these plain pair of black leggings. I always need these. They are a little bit see-through, but I usually layer them. I don't ever wear them on their own. I usually have something going on top that kind of covers over my butt. So these are good. Next up, I got this combo. I have worn it and washed it already. So it washed really, really well. This is a plunge line play suit. And I teamed it up with this amazing skirt. So I was really worried about this skirt. I thought it had a zip up. Recently I put on one of my older skirts that I have and yeah I'm carrying a little bit of extra weight. It didn't zip up all the way so I was getting really worried. I wanted to wear this for the races which I did. I don't think there was a need to size up so I did get the UK size 14, US size 10 in the skirt. There's absolutely no need to size up because it is an elasticated waistline, my favourite. So I love elasticated waistlines because they are just so much more forgiving than a zip up skirt. And I am in love with the pattern. It's so summery and just so fresh and so comfortable. I literally wore it all day long and it didn't feel like I was wearing anything. It flares out so it's, it's very, very forgiving. I love this skirt and I will definitely be wearing it a lot throughout the summer. Teamed up with this bodysuit, it's just fabulous. This bodysuit is very see-through though. I did have a battle with myself on trying to figure out what bra to wear. In the end, I just wore a clear double-sided tape and that seemed to do the trick, but it is very thin material. So if you do do any bumps with the tape, it's going to show. Maybe a white string top underneath might be good. Again, it's very no low neckline, very comfortable to wear. When I purchased it online, I thought it would be a little bit more white. Not so pink, but I'm happy with it. So the play suit was $18.50 and the skirt was $21. Next up is this white shirt that I bought. It's like an oversized white shirt with this louchy arm detail that you can button down and make it more of a long sleeve. I've teamed this up with the brown A line dress and very, very comfortable, very casual looking. I will definitely be teaming it up with a few other items in my wardrobe. It's just one of those go-to, bright, easy to wear, comfortable, definitely recommend it. I've washed it already, it washed quite well. I wouldn't recommend putting it in with any other colors. I feel like it's gonna get a little dull that it's not going to be as white as it was when you first got it. I got this in a size large because I did want it to be quite oversized and it was $26. The last piece of clothing that I decided to keep is this cardigan. And it has a side split so it has a nice detail to it. I basically got this for work so that when it gets a little bit colder I'll be able to pop it on. It is good quality, quite thick material. I got it in size medium to large. It fits really nicely. It's going to be perfect for those cold nights or going into autumn fall. This item was $26. Okay, so next I'm gonna show you a few accessories that I did end up getting. The first item I'm gonna show you is this gorgeous floppy hat. I've been wanting to get a floppy hat for, I don't know how long now and I've always not gotten one. So I saw the embroidery detail here on the side. I'm loving this trend, so I had to get it. So it was 1350, it's just a lovely statement piece and perfect for the sunny weather that we're hopefully going to get here in Toronto, hopefully. Next up are these pair of glasses. Very comfortable to wear, perfect for the summer months again. Then I picked up these tassel detail earrings. They're really nice, they're quite eye-catching when worn, they're not too big, I really like them. I also got this choker, so this was interesting. So it has front detail like this, which you can kind of open and shut accordingly however you want it and it ties with a string at the back. I struggle to tie this up on my own so I do get a hand when doing it uh, but I guess you can wear it this way if you did want to wear it so it's a bit more versatile but I wore it once and I put it on my Instagram stories and I got a lot of compliments on it. So this was a good purchase. I also got another necklace. So this one is like a layered necklace but it's one necklace which is very handy. I've worn this two or three times now. The first time I wore it, I actually removed the black 
choker part because it didn't go with my outfit and just wore the two other detail bits. So I have, as I said, worn this a few times now and it is starting to wear. You can see the wear on the metal. It's starting to go a little bit shitty coloured. But what do you expect when you pay such a low price for these items? You're only going to get that type of quality. Okay, so next we're gonna move on to the products that I will be sending back, unfortunately. First off, I'm gonna chat about the shoes that I got. So I bought three pairs of shoes. I am finding it very, very difficult to find nice shoes that fit my feet. So I'm about 41, 42 EU size, which would be around 10 and a half, 11 in size US. I find it very hard to get anything over a size 10 here in Canada, but I have just recently discovered Long Tall Sally and they do like size 10 up to size 15 and they carry like nine west and clerks and some really nice brands so i'm going to go in there i picked out some really really nice shoes unfortunately they just don't fit first up i'm going to talk about these mules so they have a suede finish and they have a low blocky heel they're extremely comfortable but unfortunately my feet are a little bit too wide for these and i know they're going to catch me and they're going to cut me so i'm just going to send them back because i'll only end up wearing them once letting them cut my feet and never wearing them again so it's a waste these are tailored for the wide feet so unfortunately my feet are so fat that they are not suitable for the wide foot section in boohoo.com so these are lovely when they're on but they just don't fit unfortunately okay so the next pair of shoes are these white pair that i thought would look nice they have a low blocky heel with some nice gold detail on them again they are wide fitting and they were size 10. when i first got them they say size 8 so that's the uk size that did freak out a little bit i was like oh no did it give me the wrong size but no it's actually a uk size so don't freak out when you're getting your shoes from boohoo and they have the wrong size in them so after i tried these on and wore them around the house for a little while i came to the conclusion that they look like adult version of holy communion shoes and they did catch me a little bit again where my foot is wide so unfortunately i have decided that i will be sending these back next up are a pair of shoes that i really really wanted to fit and they don't look again at this beautiful embroider detail i am obsessed with this trend as you can see they're supposed to be wide foot but they're really catching me at the ball of the foot and i know for sure they're going to end up slicing my foot in half so i will be sending these back they have a beautiful suede finish pointy toe low blocky heel nice strap here nice and sturdy Silver details, but they just didn't fit. My feet are fucking awful. I wish I had smaller feet, but I'm just grateful I have feet. That's what I always say, and that's what I'll stick to. Hopefully, long tall Sally will come true for me at some stage. I'll keep you updated. Has anyone else got super white, big feet like me? Let me know in the comments below and let me know your struggles and where you get your shoes cut. I want to know. Okay, next up I have this pair of black high-waisted jeans. So when I first tried these on, I couldn't get them up past my calves, which are quite large. I do have the more muscular style of leg. And I thought it was down to the back because for some reason my nails felt really sensitive and I couldn't grab the jeans properly to pull them up. So then I said, oh, I'll wait a few days and just try them on later. So I did try them on again. They still wouldn't go up past my calves. So unfortunately, I decided that they're too tight and I have to send them back. And then when I was trying them on the second time, the stitching I noticed on the belt straps here is not very good. And this one ended up snapping off. So that's a bad indicator straight away because usually that's how I pull my pants up is by these straps to get them right up past my hips. And for that reason, I will be sending them back. They were just for work for everyday kind of use but they won't go past my half calves so there's no point in holding on to them next up i really don't know why i put this into my basket because it is a more blocky style dress so as you can see it's like a straight up straight down dress it has a nice detail here where there's a cutout and then a collar style at the back more denim style but it's it looks like someone did a really bad job on the press of it when I was putting it on first, I kind of noticed, you know, when you do a bad ironing job and you kind of go through to the other side and it leaves a mark dead on the front side. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but you can kind of see where they pressed it wrong. 
so it doesn't look very good it looks like you did your own shit ironing job at home it caught me on my hips and then looks super baggy on my waist so I, sh I should have just known that this wouldn't have suited my body figure I need something that cinches in at the waist and comes out for the hip so unfortunately just didn't fit I'll be sending it back and then the last item which didn't fit and I will be sending back is this dress it's just a plain black dress I had a dress like this before and from Boohoo as well and it was amazing. I literally wore it in, every day in Australia, I wore it at home in Ireland for about a year at work, it was just plain black, it had a slit up the side. I thought this was the same dress but unfortunately it was not. It seems like the same but it has no slit up the side so it goes all the way down to your toes and it's all like straight up and down. It's an awful on me so that's why I am sending it back. It's just really bad. Definitely get a slit if you can. Okay, so the final item that I'm going to be going through is absolutely hilarious. I picked a sale item and I was going out on a whim, but it looked nice because it had two slits up the side and a tie neck and sleeveless. So I thought it would look lovely. I couldn't help but laugh when it arrived. <laughs> Hey guys, so unfortunately my camera did cut out but I managed to get this little clip of me waving around the product in the air here on the left. What I wanted to get up was on the right but this is the faulty item that was sent to me. I contacted customer care, they were amazing about it and they gave me a refund straight away. And that is the end of my first ever clothing haul. If you liked this video, make sure you subscribe to see more. Leave me a comment below if you do shop with Boohoo often or if you shop online. And give me a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. So I thought I'd